So positive people, you got Dana here, and I did want to sit down and talk to y'all about Superfly. I caught it with JT Sunday night. We caught a 10 o'clock show. Uh, the movie's about two hours long. Uh, it's directed by director X, formerly Little X. He directed so many amazing uh, music videos that I grew up on. A lot of the Sean Paul videos, um, particularly uh, Give Me the Light, I believe. I think he did temperature and like um you know all the hits all the big like dance hall hits that were coming out um obviously he is hype williams protege of belly fame and obviously keeping belly in the back of my mind i had a lot of really high expectations for like the cinematography quality of this film when i went to go check it out um i kept my expectations low on the plot because at the end of the day his main experience is uh music video work and essentially music videos usually don't have much of a plot so i kept my expectations low keeping that in mind and to keep this as spoiler free as possible i wanted to talk about the movie on a very surface level so if you haven't caught it you can go and check it out without me you know completely spoiling the plot but we get introduced to priest and his whole gang he is a dope dealer in atlanta real smooth cat permed guy who's looking to hit his last lick for like a million to get out of the game and you know just be free and not have to deal with the day-to-day -day drama that is being in the trap uh high end or otherwise so we uh go through the story see his dealings with people we see he's a real fly cat whatever uh the movie goes along and we get introduced to a guy who's a part of uh the snow patrol which is like an enemy gang but also like a gang that like is essentially rival and um is pretty much like don't ask don't tell if he don't cause no trouble we won't cause no trouble there sadly though has to be some conflict and um people get shot and you know fingers get pointed and they're pointed at priest and you know conflict ensues what annoyed me about this film is and when you go check it out it seems as if they spend a lot of time filling the movie with like really funny dialogue and you know filling the the narrative with as much atlanta centric stuff as they could they shouted out specific streets they shouted out specific restaurants uh, a lot of the lingo a lot of the verbiage was very atlanta centric and i feel like because they did that for people that maybe don't get that lingo or don't appreciate the accent or don't appreciate, you know, mumble talk and all that stuff will go into the movie and not enjoy it because they sound, you know, they feel like people from the South sound stupid. Specifically from Atlanta, they sound a little ass backwards sometimes and more for the joke. So if you're somebody who can appreciate the lingo you're gonna love the movie like for me it was just another piece of home on the big screen which i really appreciated because right now whether you like it or not atlanta is also like the epicenter of like hip-hop pop culture right now mainstream hip-hop and it seems that uh a lot of artists despite where they may come from in the world uh sometimes derive inspiration from or you know offshoots of sounds that originated in Atlanta not to knock New York and all of these other places LA and all of these other places that contributed to the larger picture of what hip-hop is but currently in the narrative I'm just talking about how everybody's on this mumble rap stuff every beats a trap beat um, everybody's got ad-libs now every you know what I'm saying there are a lot of things now that just sound like they're from one place from one sound um, and this movie's very indicative of that it would have been nice to have seen them do more of the filming outside of georgia but i understand for budget constraints it can be really easy to drive all over the state and get different scenes filmed maybe in the countryside or in the mountains or this and that to mimic being somewhere else in the world i just would have liked for the movie to have felt more international like they did go to mexico spoiler they do go to mexico but i just feel like even the scenes in Mexico, like they could have, you know, they could have shown off more in Mexico, I feel like. Um, overall, on like a scale of one to five, when you factor in 
you know the way that the movie's shot and particularly how the snow patrol scenes look like they're this all-white gang with all white guns and an all-white house and all of this but they're also lit very darkly and you know even the boss which I, I forget the name of that actor. I feel like I've seen him in another film playing this sort of like boss role, but I really enjoyed him on screen. He didn't have much in the way of dialogue, but his presence, like the, the leader of the Snow Patrol, he had like a presence. Like I I would really like to see him in other, um, you know, in other movies in that sort of a role because he definitely commanded you know the screen every time he came on screen you know i just believed him to be the boss even though you know it's a movie that you're going into on that note e my feelings about going to see the film it's like the movie was good but i don't think it was good enough to go see at the theater like i would have preferred to have seen it on netflix and that's no knock to Lil x like i'm always down for supporting black directors and having seen this movie i'm even more excited to go and see the spike lee movie that's going to be coming out soon but like uh i look forward to seeing what else he brings to the table as far as like directorial work because plot wise this movie's kind of lacking for me personally um i always appreciate a good hood story and this will be probably in you know the catalog of other black gangster flicks like i'm sure you know what i'm saying once i see it again get to really you know have a meal with it i don't know smoke a blunt with it i'll probably enjoy it is it belly no not at all um i don't think there's gonna be a movie probably that ever takes that movie off its pedestal considering the cast that's in it so you know I say if you have the money to spare and you want to support, go check the movie out in the theaters. Uh, I think it'll definitely be much more enjoyable though once it's out on like DVD and available to stream. So if you've seen the movie, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments section below. Um, whether you liked it or didn't, if you're not going to see it, if you are going to see it, your thought on, you know, black remakes and black exploitation films in general. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, if you haven't already too, definitely subscribe and hit the bell for post notifications so you know every single time I post. And until next time, peace, positive people.